Hello, my name is Cory Yoder of Coriander Quilts, and today we are talking 2023 Sew Along plans. I just wrapped up the Oh Happy Day sampler sew along just a few days ago, and I don't know about you, you may be on a different page than I am, but I am excited about starting another sew along with all of you. And so I wanted to share some of what I'm looking at for next year so that you can plan accordingly. There are always so many fun sew alongs happening throughout the year, hosted by all kinds of fun quilters. And it's nice to have an idea of what's coming up so that you can plan accordingly and jump in on the fun. Before I share with that with you though, I want to talk about my sweatshirt a little bit. I've been getting asked a lot about where I get my quilty shirts and sweatshirts from, and I purchased them from different online shops, not all the same one. And y'all have been wondering where I get them from. So this one is from My So Quilty Life. It says, quilting makes me happy. And I am going to link to Heather's shop in the description box below this video. So if you want to grab one for yourself, you know right where to go. She has this design. She has at least one other design that I know of that I've purchased and it's a really neat shop. She also designs really cute quilting patterns. So while you are over there scoping out a new shirt or a hoodie, you might wanna check those out. She just released a really cute snowman quilt pattern just last week that is just really adorable. So that is the shirt information for today. Now let's go ahead and move into the quilt along information. First up, scrappy Irish chain. I have talked about this one in a couple of my works in progress videos, and I had mentioned that I wanted to make this quilt myself, and I wanted to use up some of my scraps, and so this was one of my works in progress plans for the upcoming months. And when I was talking about this, many of you mentioned that you would be interested in sewing along as well, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. This is going to be a very informal, I'm calling it a scrap along because we're going to be using up our scraps. It would be pre-cut friendly. I'm going to sit down and do a little bit of math and see which pre-cuts you could make the quilt from because I think that would be helpful to know. Maybe you don't have a big scrap selection. So I do want to give you information on what pre-cuts you could use if you wanted to go that route. And the way this quilt along, scrap along, is going to work I will be sharing my block progress throughout several months at least. I don't know how quickly I'll be making these blocks. They are 18 inch blocks and I think we need 25 total. So it's going to go somewhat quickly, but it is a lot of piecing. I'll be sharing my blocks over several months at least, maybe even longer. And when I asked you if you would prefer having individual scrappy Irish chain videos, or if you wanted them lumped in with something else, enough of you were interested in having them as individual videos. So that's the route I'm going to go. I'll be sharing my blocks. And then I think at the same time, I'm also going to provide some other kind of content to go with that. And what I was thinking was maybe, um, maybe a roundup of scrappy quilt patterns. I could share kind of a roundup of those and my blocks. Um, maybe another month I might be sharing a fun scrap busting quilt book and my blocks. So just a little something to go with the blocks that I'm sharing so that it's not, hey, here are my blocks. And then 30 seconds later, the video would be about wrapped up because it's not going to take that long to show them. And the other thing that you guys mentioned you would be interested in is a tutorial for how to make the blocks that we need for the Scrappy Irish Chain. As I said, there are just two different blocks and I will do a video tutorial to kind of kick off the quilt along and then, um, you know, super casual after that. And I am planning to start in January. I have another quilt along that's going to be starting maybe maybe end of January, beginning of February. I'll get to that one next. And so I wanted to start this one so we could kind of get those blocks rolling before we're jumping into something different. So that's the Scrappy Irish chain. There it is again. And actually I'm gonna have you just look down here on my cutting table. This is a little bit more of my plan 
for this quilt along. This was actually the first picture I saw of this quilt and I thought it was so pretty. So um, this quilt maker has used gray in place of the pink on the original design. And I didn't mention, but this is a free pattern. So I have this linked in the description box below as well. So you can grab the free pattern. But I will be doing something like this, gray and then just scrappy brights. And I planned out my cutting just a little bit already because I wanted to get cutting on this. I am looking at using eight different colors, red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and light gray. And using that number of colors means I would need about 125 per color to get me up to the 989 two and a half inch squares we'll need. As I said, this is going to be a great scrap busting project. Now, I do not have a lot of purple, so I may, actually I know that I'm going to have to increase some of the other colors just to get me to that 989. But that's my rough plan, so I can go ahead and get cutting on that. And if you want to print out the pattern and start working on some of your cutting, you can as well. Right now, I'm looking at roughly the first Saturday of January for that video tutorial for the blocks and kind of to kick everything off. That's what I'm thinking, that could change a little bit, but that gives you sort of an idea of when to plan. All right, so scrappy Irish chain. Let us move on to quilt along number two. My big 2023 quilt along is the Sunny Patches Mystery Block of the Month. I shared this layout over on my blog a couple months ago, and this is going to be an eight month quilt along and these empty spaces that you can see here. Those are all going to be mystery blocks. I will be releasing those in addition to how to make the alternate blocks in our monthly monthly video tutorials. Um, this is using sun washed fabrics. You can see those behind me back here. All of these bright, happy colors. This is sun washed. Right now, sun washed is looking like it is going to be in quilt shops towards the end of January, maybe the beginning of February, something like that. And this quilt along is going to kick off once the fabrics are in quilt shops. So you're going to want to just keep an eye on my blog corianderquilts.com for um, more announcements as we know a little bit more when those fabrics will be in quilt shops. And I am looking at Saturday releases again. I really enjoyed having the Saturday videos for the Oh Happy Day sampler quilt along. And so I'm planning on doing Saturday releases again for Sunny Patches. Now, Sunny Patches is a block of the month, so one block a month, as opposed to the block of the week that Oh Happy Day was. So it's a little bit uh, slower of a pace but we're going to have those scrappy Irish chain blocks that we can fit in here and there if we want to. And that makes sense probably why I wanted to start that scrappy Irish chain just a little bit sooner than the sunny patches because I think the two are going to work together nicely. And the third quilt along that I wanted to talk about in this video that I'll be participating in in 2023 is the Bountiful quilt along. You guys have probably been seeing this pop up on social media or on various blogs. This is the 2023 charity quilt along hosted by Fat Quarter Shop and it benefits Make-A-Wish. I participated in this quilt along last year. I got to design the quilt for them last year and this is my design again for this year. I'm always so excited when they ask me to design these quilts because it's such a fun project. So I designed the Bountiful quilt using sun washed, these fabrics back here that I just talked about. And Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop will be making the Bountiful quilt using sun washed and then donating and auctioning off her quilt at the end of the summer, the end of the quilt along to benefit Make-A-Wish. I am also going to be sewing along and donating my quilt. And because Kimberly is already using sun washed, I wanted to use something a little bit different and I decided I am going to be using dwell fabrics with just a little bit of Nantucket summer mixed in there and these fabrics are all by Camille Roskelly and if you look down here at my cutting table I have mocked up a digital image of what this quilt will look like using these fabrics and then this is the original using sun washed 
So I think this is going to be so pretty. Um, I am going to be sharing these blocks over on my blog throughout the whole quilt along, and you'll probably see them here on YouTube popping up as well. But let me show you what these fabrics look like in a little bit more detail, because they're just so pretty. Just all of this pretty navies and some pinks and reds. It's just such a nice palette. So these are the fabrics that I'll be using for that sew along, the Bountiful Sew Along. I'm going to link to the information that's available so far to us. Um, right now, there's just a little bit of information available. Fabric requirements for this quilt along release in January. So not a lot of information available yet, but I am starting to plan ahead because I'm excited about this one. And that gives you a little bit of a roundup of my 2023 plans. The other quilt I'm mulling over is a Scrappy Spools quilt along that's being hosted by Fat Quarter Shop. I think that one looks like a lot of fun. I don't know if I will have time to fit that one into my schedule, but I have the book and I'm, I'm mulling that one over. I'll link to that book down below too because it's a really neat pattern. And if you are looking at 2023 as a year that you want to focus maybe on using up more of your scraps, rather than purchasing a bunch of new fabrics that's a really fun one to bust some of those scraps also that wraps up my 2023 sew along plan so the scrappy irish chain sunny patches bountiful were the ones i am for sure joining in and then the scrappy spools quilt maybe and i will also keep plugging away on my social lights little mini three inch quilt blocks as well. Let me know what quilt alongs you guys are planning for 2023. I have seen a lot of a lot of talk about some of these different quilt alongs and I'd love to know what you're planning on doing. So thanks so much for stopping by and I'll catch you again next time.